what's happening out there, everybody? It's a little top. And I'm going to be sitting here along with you because we had such a big response from the EOD videos that we're going to go ahead and build us an in-country EOD puppet. And you can watch it as it happens. Now, this ain't for everybody, but if you know a little something about Photoshop and such, you might enjoy just watching this process happen. So as you can see over here, this is my model in kit that we used in that Iraq video. So what we're going to do is we need to go ahead and get that other EOD head in. Now we built him in his outfit, in his PT outfit. But we're going to go ahead and bring, bring in his hair, go ahead and bring in that melon of his, that fancy hair, that fancy little jawline. And you can see the goggles up here need to be pulled down. So we'll pull that eye pro down there because even in EOD, I imagine PCCs and PCIs are pretty important. All right, now where's his nose? Let's see if we can find that nose in there somewhere. Boom! That ain't his nose. What the hell? That's my nose. No, we don't want that. So let's go ahead and get rid of that nose right there. Now let's see if we can cut over here to his puppet and find his nose. Let's see. There it is. We just pick it up and drag it on over. Drop it on there. And let's see. We'll push that nose up and into position. Now, the fun part of doing these videos and getting these puppets is building the characters. Now, if y'all spend any time overseas, you know the EOD, or they characters within themselves. So it was pretty easy to come up with something to be funny. My brother was an EOD, so we bust each other's balls pretty hard about it all the time. So a lot of the things you'll see in here are stories either he or I dealt with. All right. Now, this M4 is going to have to go in this whole camo pattern. So what... What I do, let's go ahead and build out the uniform first. So what I do is I go through and I do a whole bunch of digging. And I've, I like to find a lot of uh, different, let's see here, let's see, Josh Stubb. A lot of different pictures online. You can find just about anything you need. So I just grab a bunch of images. I don't need them and I'll drop them in here. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and start with the uh, just as basic uniform itself. Bam. Okay. We got a top. And we got a bottom. And all I'll do is just drag these into place. That looks kind of strange. It looks like there's a face on my Johnson. Alright, let's see. You just got to get a rough estimate kind of where these pants are going to fit like this. And while I'm sitting here talking, if y'all got any ideas or anything that Little Top can do, please feel free to uh, message me. You can send me an email at uh, firstsergeantjoshking at gmail.com or you can message, you know, you just write in directly down below. So the pants are probably going to fit like that. We might pull them in a little, but that's about where they'll go. Now, where'd that uh, top go? All right, we're going to get this, drop it in two. Looks like it fits pretty close. You know, remember, you can always go back and adjust these things, but I like to get them pretty close in the beginning as far as the layers. Now, as you can see here, I got the top set up. It's a whole thing with the arms, but we're going to have to separate all that so you can see his, you know, his hands kicking out left and right like you see mine. So all I do is I, we just go in there and we duplicate that layer like this. And then we need to go ahead and cut one of Just keep one of these arms. So let's see. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now we got one good camouflage on. We'll go ahead and clean it up a little bit while we're here. All 
If y'all are interested in learning how to do anything is like this, um, need a little bit of time in Photoshop, but Adobe Character Animator is the actual video or the actual program that we use in this. But you gotta need to know Illustrator or Photoshop so you can make sure that you have the ability to go in and you know create some of these characters at home. But it is a lot of fun. So just getting this arm ready, something like that. All right. Come on down in here. We got to name it. Right arm. Now I'm not going to get into the ABCs of what it's like to put together one of these puppets. It gets a little rough as far as how you name them, what kind of folders you put them in. So this is just going to be more about me cutting up one of these projects so you can see exactly what it takes to get it done. All right, now we got to do the other arm, so we'll duplicate that layer again. Actually, I'll tell you what, we're going to get crazy with it. We're just going to duplicate that arm and switch it over to the other side. So, duplicate right arm. Command T. Swab it over. Go we'll drag it on into position over there. Now it's going to be kind of obvious that you did this if you, uh, if your um, arm to the camo pattern is exactly the same. So what I'd recommend is you come in there and just maybe get that clone tool and mix it up a little bit just so people can't notice. Just go ahead and change that pattern just a little bit. Something like this. Alright. That's probably good enough. We can always come back to it and trim it up if we want to. Alright. So now I can go on in. I can go ahead and grab the main body. And just go ahead and erase those arms off of there. You probably won't really see them disappear. Because... The other one's underneath. I'll go ahead and hide them for you, though, see? Go ahead and erase all this. Really doesn't matter what's going to be underneath here too much, because, I mean, in the end, it's going to be covered up by kid anyway. So I'm just going to make this upper body. Right, let's get them arms back where they need to be. widen him up a little bit you know some of these EOD boys tended to be pretty big so you gotta kind of adjust that body size all right that's not too bad we can live with that for right now we may have to change it up a little bit when we get into the uh, ABCs of the character just so everything moves right but we'll just we'll kind of leave it like that right there All right, let's look at that kit. Now, a lot of the special operations guys and Navy special ops, they got some pretty sweet rigs. So I went through and found just some base rigs like this one was kind of nice. While y'all watching this, if you like what I'm doing, you want to learn more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you can go to a little top on Facebook. Got a Snapchat account. Got an Instagram account. 
Look them up, and I've been trying to tag them good so we're easy to find. Do it, I'm just going to trim this, uh, this rig up. Let's get him up on top of that body there. Okay, it's going to go something like this. A little big. So just hit Command T. Go ahead and adjust the size of this. I'm going to have to go over all back at all some. Now, the EOD cats had an advantage on all us army boys because they weren't expected to wear these ridiculous size sit uniforms with daps and dig plates and all that kind of stuff we had to have on ours all the time. They actually do some moving. Move around. Let's see. If you spend any time overseas, right down below, like where you were and who you were with and love to hear a funny story you got something good you never know i want to try and start bringing some y'all on here to uh tell you stories on joe talks i just hadn't had a real real good chance to get around to working that too much been trying i'd, I'd really like to be able to publish you know two three of these videos a, a week but working and everything and little top's got a brand new little redheaded Joe on the roster and she tends to take up a lot of time you get the idea what's going on now about this uh just distorting the pictures you find and using them how you want them you can see how I'm building this rig up now you know creativity really comes to play on this make it look like it's been overseas we're gonna have to dirty it up put some cool patches and make it look like a rig Joe might have now I don't like the way I see that reference body in the background, so I'm going to go ahead and just start erasing some of this. Really, none of this matters. Once you get the kind of the size of what it's going to be, you can pretty much go ahead and kick it off. I'm going to leave this one because of the boots for right now, but overall, you can see we're looking pretty good. Let me back out. All right, see that? So I got the legs in there, got it all. It's not really matching color wise but we're gonna come back later and we're gonna work on the color kind of dirty it up some <laughs> found these patches here look like they spent a little time so I'm gonna go ahead and Pull this on over. Now let's see. As I remember it, EOD pretty much always had their EOD somewhere where it was good and visible. Now I'm not going to get into the ABCs or what needs to be IR and all that kind of crazy stuff. But I will try and stay as true as possible as something that they probably wore overseas. If you come on here talking about, oh, that's not how you do a kit, that's it right there. Let me tell you something. I saw kits put together every single way, especially by players that weren't in a line unit where they had a little, you know, a little, were able to make their own decisions about where things go. So <clears throat> I don't want to get into a piss match with you about how something would be set up, all right? That's not the point of this. The point of this is to build this puppet. Put him in a funny scene. I already got the scripts all written out. We already got that cut. I just got to put the characters together and build the background. So for now, we're just going to put that EOD and that uh, American flag right there. All right, all right, all right. Checking out my brother's rig. One of the things that I saw from back in the day was they always had a good pair of EMT scissors. Probably used them for more than just that, but I'm going to go ahead and put one in this guy's rig also.
go. What do you think? Look all right. I like it. All right, I'm recording this on my lunch hour, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all the way through it. Now, if I can't, then we will pick it up later at another time. Especially if I get a good response and you like seeing this kind of thing, I can probably do this more often. We all had these, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on his rig. Tell you right now, pretty much everybody carried one of these. These, these tourniquets were on every, every uniform in the military. I'll throw one of those on there. We think like that right there. Looks good to me. Right. Back out and take a look at him. Yeah, you looking pretty good there, hero. Looking pretty good. All right, now what I'm going to do with all this, I'm going to go ahead and flatten down all these things that you see me put on here. Well, that little pause is looking kind of big. Let's take a look at that. They know that head. Head looks like my boy ain't got no neck. Let's see if we can do something about that. That looks a little better.
boys had some fancy haircuts over there, so we're gonna put I'm probably gonna end up putting me a, a pimp mustache right in here, but we'll get to that later. What I'm not liking is the fact that this helmet don't really match up with all the rest of his kit. Now, what we what I'll try and do is do some color correction in the end to make sure it looks like it all matches. Now that fancy old hair of his doesn't matter too much. Let's go ahead and roll down there and get rid of some of that. We'll go ahead and erase it off the top here. But I'll let him keep his fancy little sideburns there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and just merge that entire thing together right there so that would be his kit so we'll be able to just click on and off of that also let us go ahead and erase a lot of what's going on behind him there so just to make it a little bit easier all right but my problem is i got this whole uniform doesn't even look the same so i'm gonna go ahead and merge those layers and take a look at some things let's see i like going to this color look up Sometimes you can put stuff on it or at least let it fall into kind of the same look. Well, I don't know if any of these are doing it. Well, that's pretty close. Kodak 5205 Fuji. All right, I like it. Now, let's see how it does on... This kit's got a lot of harsh contrast. You can fix that up by coming on in here into the dodge tool. Dropping it down to about 30% and go to shadows. And so a lot of these harsh shadows you can get rid of. And now let's see if we can put it down in that same... Same color look up. Yes, Kodak right there. Now that's pretty close. I like it. Let's check and see if we can do that helmet too. Hell. One thing I don't like about it is he's awful clean. So we're going to have to go in there and put some dirt on it. You go over there and fart dust for a while. You'll see nothing stays this clean. This is EOD working them ranges clean. Pretty close there, boys. I like it. Bam. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty good place to start. We're going to hold on right here now. I'll try and record some more for you. 
as I get it done. All right? I like to go ahead and wrap this up and hop on back to work. Y'all have a good day. Um, again, if you like what you saw, either you like character animator, you like Photoshop, and eventually I'll take it into After Effects and show you exactly how we put it together. So if you like that, hit the subscribe button. If you like EOD, my boys, hit the subscribe button. And if you like Little Top videos in general, please hit the subscribe button. Y'all have a good day. Carry on.